Welcome to Tecmo Tuesday, and welcome to the playoffs. I wish I could be more excited about it because uh, we didn't make it. Uh, we uh, finished 8-8 eight and eight as the Cleveland Browns for this 2017 uh, version of Tecmo Super Bowl. Um, trying to get take the winless to the promised land, and we couldn't quite do it, but we got, you know, some other games to play, and I'm I'm going to simulate these and, and uh, you know, we'll go through all four of them here in the wild card round. If, like I, I said last week, if you don't want to watch games that I'm not even playing, there's no need. Oh, here's one thing I didn't do was uh, change these teams that are in the playoffs to, uh, to computer. We got Titans, Patriots... Bears, Falcons, Cardinals, Seahawks. So there's the Cowboys, Patriots, uh, Broncos, Titans. Jaguars, I, 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 I know that I, you only need one, uh, and it'll still simulate the game, but I want to make sure I get everybody just in case I miss someone down the road. So Jaguars, Panthers. Jaguars, Panthers. Oh, I didn't do Cardinals. All right. So we'll start things off with all right now. Darius Hayward Bay, who got hurt in our game, uh, comes back. They're going against the Raiders, who are my team. That's my favorite team. Always has been. <clears throat> um. So I'm gonna be pulling for them. Not to mention that you know it's like you know I'm they're going against. In this universe, my rival, the Steelers. And this was a real rivalry, the Raiders and Steelers back in the 70s. Was a, uh... You know, I wish I was alive to see it. I hadn't been... I was born in 83, so I didn't get to see any of those. Um... Those awesome games. It's just fucking classics. These really brutal shit. Oh yeah, Beast Mode. I got to see, uh... Beast Mode, uh... It was actually the infamous, uh... Not about infamous, but the famous game uh, or, or the clip where he's on the sideline dancing like a maniac. I was at that game. Uh, it was against the Jets. It was my one and only time going to Oakland. It was uh, an amazing experience. What a fucking crowd they, they have down there. I wish they still played there. And Amari Cooper makes the catch inside the 20. Give the Raiders a first down. They fake it to beast mode. And Crabtree... Oh, he was covered like a blanket. It was, uh... Yeah, they, they, they murdered the Jets in that game that I saw. Go back to beast mode. Only picks up four. So now it is third down and six. They go back to Lynch. He's got some blocking. He gets a first down. He drags a couple of guys to the two. And they are in prime position here. Oh, the play fake. They got... Oh, and... He could have ran it in. He wanted to pad the stats with the, with the pass, though. They give it to Lynch, and this, he's going to walk it in for the touchdown. First guard goes to the race. There are a couple Steelers in the crowd. I don't know what was going on there. Your point is good. And so, oh, Sebastian Janikowski, too. He was not on the team, I remember. Uh, it was a different kicker. I was, uh, so I don't know why he's on this particular team. He might have, maybe he was released shortly before the season started. I don't know, but I don't think that's the, that was the case. <clears throat> but I remember, I distinctly remember there being a different kicker. I forgot who the hell it was that was, like, Somebody in between Janikowski and Carlson who was all right, I guess, but I 
Oh, he had a blitz, and there's a touchdown. Really good uh, kick return, and Martavius Bryant gets the touchdown. And th this is a microcosm of the Raiders in this uh, mid-2010-ish uh, era where their offense was good, and their defense sucked. And there were several seasons that, uh, around this time where that was the case. Even with Khalil Mack. You had him and you had like nobody else pretty much uh, on the defense. So they had the basically they were a pinball machine. Or they had to be a pinball machine to keep up. And then you got a blitz here. And he makes the catch. Anyway, so that was a quick release, uh, quick reaction type of deal. Beast mode is all over the place here. And he had a dive and a miss, and he's going to take it inside the 20 to inside the 10. It's going to be first and goal. So this has been a very fireworky kind of game. A lot of action. No stops. Play fake to Lynch. He goes for the end zone, and Amari Cooper was there, but he overthrew him. I always fear that in Tecmo is when the, the guy runs all the way to the back of the end zone, and it's like... Sometimes those balls just, uh, when you throw it, they just sail a little bit past them. Even when they're wide open, it's like, ugh. Oh, I and mean, Lynch breaks the tackle that would have brought him down to the one and caught, uh, led to a fourth down. Instead, it's a touchdown. So every drive so far has led to six points. Well, seven. Yeah, so we could officially confirmed seven on each of the drives. Steelers do have some injuries. That Le'Veon Bell still he did not make it back um, from the injury. So the Steelers are a bit short-handed. But oh, and it's a fumble, and it's picked up by Carl Joseph. He was the rookie safety that season. No longer on the team. None of these guys are on the team anymore, and they're kind of like the opposite of where they were back then. Where they're now, their offense sucks. Even with Devontae, their offense, not so hot, and uh, defense is actually, all of a sudden, with Antonio Pierce leading the way, pretty good. And there's a touchdown. Raiders took advantage of the fumble, and that's something you gotta do in these games, is uh, take advantage of turnovers. It worked wonders for us in some certain games this season. It can, you know, just be the difference between a win and a loss sometimes. But, you know, I'll, I hold reservations about the Raiders having a shitty offense uh, necessarily this season. I'll tell you what they do have in this game is a shitty uh, coverage team. Uh, they have gave, given up like 150 yards worth of kick return yards. That was a nice play call, though. Um... Going back to the Raiders' offense, I think that, I, I, I mean, maybe it's the optimist in me. I'm, here I am, uh, uh, more than anything, hoping that the problem, the main problem was the fact they were uh, running the Josh McDaniel system. Which, you know, it works when you have Tom Brady and you have, uh, you know, guys that have been under it for a while, maybe, and but, uh, you know, it did not fit the personnel. And... Best coaches in the league tailor their system around the talent around them, not the other way around. And Josh McDaniels was a complete fucking numbskull. I hate that man. I really fucking hate him uh, for various reasons. So Steelers uh, are uh, hanging on here. They Even with that uh, turnover, they came right back, roaring right back with a touchdown, thanks in part to that uh, lengthy kick return. And this has become quite the game. Mari Cooper with the catch down field. It's getting close to the uh, midfield, but uh, still a little bit of a ways away before they can think about a field goal.
Cook makes the catch. He's gonna get in, into field goal range here. They're gonna they're gonna kick it here after this tackle. No, they're not. They're going for the play here. They're, with 24 seconds, that's surprising. And uh, Stefan, to it. They are risking it for the biscuit here. It is 18 seconds left, and they're running it, which could run out the clock. And it does. That was absolutely dumb. Wow. You know, in in, in the... Um, wow, Steelers have no rushing yards. Um, in the in the main... Uh, like the regular Tecmo ROMs... Uh, all of them, under 30 seconds, the, the CPU kicks field goals uh, at the end of the half or the end of the game. This time, uh, somebody had mentioned in a comment that they tweaked that for certain ROMs, certain hack ROMs, um, and this in this case it came back to haunt them because they were uh, they were obviously in field goal range. So we'll see if that comes back to bite them in the ass because uh, if they you know if they lose by less than a field goal, that'll be the difference and. You know, it would have made it a two-score game by kicking that field goal, too. He's going deep for Bryant. He is wide open, but he overthrows him by a bit. The pressure got to him. That definitely, definitely had something to do with it. A couple guys missed, but the uh, still third down. So it's third and two. Lots of pressure. And it, you know, another overthrow. So the Steelers are going to punt. First punt of the game. And first real stop. If you don't count the, you know, the fact that the Raiders ran the clock out on themselves. I could kind of see Del Rio doing that. He wasn't the best when it came to making decisions like that. He was far from the worst Raiders coach. Um, you know, I I wasn't I I, you know, I loved John Gruden in the '90s and uh, in, the, in the early 2000s as Raiders coach, but uh, I didn't I was not a big fan of the uh, I don't know his second stint, even from the very beginning, for the reason of his drafting. I thought he was actually still good at calling plays and scheming against opponents, but he could not draft worth a shit, and he was definitely the one behind those drafts. Meanwhile, the Raiders have a touchdown here to go up by uh, 14 here. So, you know, yeah, you kick that field goal in that last uh, drive, and you're up 31-14, and you're really sitting pretty at the moment. Instead, you know, it's, it's, it's still a two-score game. And, you know, it's like the Steelers can't say that it's because Nix is in instead of uh, Le'Veon Bell. Uh, yeah, the running game hasn't been up to par, but, you know, they also have been scoring, lot, you know, on... Aside from that last possession, they've scored on the uh, on most of the time they had the ball. Thanks in large part to good starting field position. And, uh, you know, that was that was obviously that is a big factor there. And the Raiders' defense not being able to... Uh, stop them early but they got to stop on the last drive and this is a huge uh series right here and man Roethlisberger just chucked it out of bounds Antonio Brown is probably uh ready to completely strip down naked and run around the field like a maniac he's got plenty of time he's going deep for for Antonio Brown and he what the hell happened there he was uh, I was they called him out of bounds looked like he came down in if he was out of bounds, it should have been incomplete, but... Whatever it is what it is, it's a touchdown to Vance McDonald. And the Steelers avoiding some trouble there. They looked like they were gonna, uh, be faced with a decision to make. Instead, it's a one touchdown game, and we're going into the fourth and final quarter. Oh yeah, quarter, uh... 
Cordero Patterson was, uh, did play for the Raiders. Raiders are definitely, uh, you know, their running game has been the main focal point. And that's what you do when you have the lead in the fourth quarter. You pound the rock when you get a guy like Marshawn. You feed him the rock, and look what he does. Takes it into enemy territory. He's got to have like 150 rushing yards here. Now, if, you, if they get a field goal on this drive... I wouldn't say it's lights out, but it's going to be pretty close. But here we go, third down. This is uh, big for the Steelers' defense here. If they can get a blitz... Or if they can get a sack back there. Or a pick. Nope. No, need none of the above. It said it's going to be a field goal. And if Janikowski pushes this through, I don't know. It's going to be tough for the Steelers to make a comeback. They still could. With an onside kick in all likelihood. Unless they get, like, a really quick touchdown. Like, they're going to have to score extremely fast. Nice, they got 240. And yeah, they don't have all their weapons. And they knew what was coming there. Shut that one down. Loss of six. And they are running the ball for some reason. I mean, I... I... <sighs> it's, it's not... Uh... You know, yeah, maybe they're not expecting you to run. <gasps> Excuse me. Who? But what, how is this helping your cause? Look at all this time that's going down the drain here. You are down by 10. Yeah, you're calling timeouts too that you don't need to be calling if you, you know, were to throw it. I mean, yeah, you can still, the clock will still run if you uh, get tackled in bounds. But yeah, see, now you just used up about a minute and a half. And you're not even at midfield yet. Now they're going to throw it. Everybody is covered. Except for Connor, who makes the catch. You know, you'll take as, as a defense, you'll take that all day. Those, those like, short to intermediate routes. You'll take those all day. Because they're going to go deep for Antonio Brown. And he was well covered. And they have less than a minute left. This isn't going to... Oh, they got Antonio Brown wide open. And Roethlisberger's going to run it instead. Brown is probably pissed. He's probably ready to f just, like, knock some lady out or something because he's a piece of shit. Brian gets the touchdown. So, we'll see if an onside kick will uh, lead to a miracle comeback here for the Steelers. There's 20 seconds left. So, they're going to get... They're going to have just enough time to recover the onside kick and then kick a field goal. If they recovered, of course. Short. Oh, that was close. And Derek Carr was the one who scooped it up. Like, they'd have him on the hands team down there. Beast Mode runs with it. Padding the stats. Maybe getting a touchdown late. People are dropping like flies that he doesn't quite make it that far. That's it for the game. Um... Lynch with 221 rushing yards. He was obviously the star of the show. And for good reason. You know, that's why they signed him. I, I loved Marshawn, but I also thought that it was, a, you know, at the time that it was a... It, it might be a mistake just because he's older and uh, you actually had a pretty good running back with... Uh, oh, God, who the hell was it? Uh, it was Latavius. Uh, but whatever. What it is, what it is. The Raiders won a playoff game here. Wow, the first time since 2002 that they won a playoff game. I wish that that's what happened in real life. But anyway, we got the Bears and Falcons up next. Raiders will play the Jaguars in the divisional round next week. We got Bears and Falcons on uh, for this one. I'm trying to remember who... In 2017, 
This was pre, uh, pre Trubisky, so. Who are the Bears trotting out at quarterback at this time? Man, I don't know, but the Falcons, who, excuse me, were coming off of their 28-3 debacle uh, collapse in the year before. So it made sense that they're, you know, a, a good team here. So, oh, so speaking of players that I've seen live, um, I've only been to two NFL games before. One was the Raider Jets game that I mentioned earlier, and then the other one was a couple years ago, a year and a half ago now at this point, uh, was when the Raiders played at home against the Colts, and Matt Ryan was just put in. It was Jeff Saturday's uh, one and only win as a coach. He had just came in, and they he beat the he beat the Raiders. And, uh, yeah, so Matt Ryan was in that game, and Freeman just ran through everybody. And the Falcons score first, so once again... Once again, we got points early. On the first drive, I mean. So we'll see how the Bears respond. Oh, they do have Trubisky. Oh, you know why? Because it was... That's right, it was... Uh, it was. I'm thinking because... Uh, like, like, I'm thinking like Mahomes' first year was 2018. His, he was actually a rookie in 2017, but didn't play. Because I know, you know like, it's that whole thing where the Bears could have drafted Mahomes and they went for Trubisky. Anyway, so 2017 was Trubisky's first year. And that was an odd call on third down. Run it like that. Like on third and ten, especially. Like I, if it's third and five or so. Oh, a fumble! And the Bears get it. Wow, so what a turn of events there. The Falcons thought they were in business. They scored a touchdown and then held the Bears. Now the Bears have really good starting field position here. They are feeding Howard the Rock. And he is going to... Uh, it's going to lead to dividends because he just scored a touchdown. So Barth puts the extra point through and we are tied at 7. I don't really have a preference in this game either. You know, it doesn't matter to me. I'm mainly, uh, well, you know, like I said, I'm rooting for the Raiders, but I'm also rooting against the Cowboys and Patriots. They are, uh, you know, my two least favorite teams in the league. And they were my grandmother's two favorite teams. My my father's mother, she was a Cowboys fan, mainly. And, uh, you know, of course, living in New England, Patriots were her, you know, like her other team. So, like, yeah, the two, the two teams that I... Hey, the most. Although back in the back in the days when, you know, I watched football with her, um, you know, the Patriots weren't my uh, nemesis yet. You know, throughout the nineties, and she passed away in '04. So, uh, you know, it was only really she. She was only over there for like the uh, for like the early part of the success of the Patriots. And there's a touchdown. Is that Freeman again? Yeah, he's been the man in this game so far. Right now, the MVP goes to Freeman. But it is early yet. You can't be crowning MVPs 
when we're barely into the second quarter. Man, Cohen is fast. Bears may not have had a franchise quarterback in like 60 years, but, uh, you know, they have their fair share of speedy kick returners. We'll see how uh, Caleb Williams is. Uh, and there's a touchdown for Chicago. It is, uh, we are another game with a lot of points. We'll see if it's similar in the second half where everybody kind of settles in a little bit and. Well, we'll see. I love how this game has the uh, alternate music for the playoffs. It just You could feel that the stakes are high. I remember the first time playing this game, my first playoff game. Excuse me. Um, I specifically remember I was the Raiders and playing against the Dolphins and Tecmo Super Bowl. Um... It's weird the shit I remember. I will not be able to tell you what I had for breakfast yesterday, but I can tell you that in my first Tecmo Super Bowl playoff game back in the like, 92, I played against the Dolphins, and I remember specifically when I, um... Uh, you know, right at the beginning, at the outset, the kickoff, the, uh... The, the, hearing the music was, oh, okay. I'm so used to hearing that, uh, you know, that regular season jingle, and then this shit comes on, and it's like, okay, yep, it's this is the real shit. So big chance here for the Bears to double dip, although that's third down here, third and seven. I don't know why the graphics of the menu when. Uh, you, are like overlapping the rest of the plays. Uh, I've noticed that that's been happening. Trubisky running like uh, the wind. Putting them into Falcon territory. Oh, they saw this one coming. They ran, it was the same play. They have a run like that where they actually do hand it off. A lot of play action for them though. They go deep to right. He's got it and he is in for the touchdown. Clutch ass play there for the Bears. And a good throw by Trubisky. And they score with barely 26 seconds left. They could tackle him here with no time left if. Uh... Nope, there's going to be two seconds. And yeah, they're, they're just conceding. They're just going to do a little pitch out. 21-14. Um, yeah, Freeman with 48 rushing yards. Jordan Howard with 27. And Trubisky, a lot of that... Um, I mean, that, that Kevin White touchdown, the first touchdown of 78 yards. That was big. That was, uh, you know, the biggest play of the game. And they're, you know, like I said, they have a chance to double dip here. Bears are getting the ball to start the second half. And that's why I always kick off in these games. I When I first came up with that strategy years ago, years before uh, everybody started doing it in real life, um, it wasn't so much because of the double dip. That was something that I, you know, picked up on later. But it was like I wanted to get the ball first in the... Uh, more important half of the game. You know, it was like I wanted to set the tone in the in that latter half of the game as opposed to how a lot of t teams you'd like to get it first and set the tone at the beginning of the game. And, kind of, you know, try to get that first touchdown to make them chase you. And Miller with a deep catch. He might get another touchdown here. 
And he's got it. Bears are... A rolling, although... Really, the Falcons haven't had any meaningful snaps on offense. They had that one play at the end of the first half. Um, but... The last time they had any meaningful snaps was... Uh, when the Bears still had 14 points. So, you know, now all of a sudden it's like, okay, go, let's go out there and... They try to retake control of the game because... You know, as an, as an offensive player in that situation, you're like, okay, well, you know, what the hell could I have done? I had no control over the fact that We're suddenly down by 14. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Bears might be running away with this one here if they can take advantage. And they do. Just like that. It's a 21 point game. It just seems like the life has been sucked out of the Falcons here. Although, Coleman here with a good return here. Great return. They, which brings it into Chicago territory. They gotta get moving, though. We're almost at the end of the third, and... They're down by three touchdowns. And Mohamed Sanu with a touchdown. Still a glimmer of hope, but they've got a they got to get a turnover of their own here. They got to get something and score quick to you know the clock is going to be working against them here if they don't. Then that's going to help right there a sack. Here we go, third and long. They might, uh, be able to change the narrative of this game. Nope, he's gonna get this. Just about. And that was a heartbreaking first down to give up if you're the Falcons. Trubisky with the play fake. He dumps it off to Cohen, who picks up seven. Deep to right, another another big play, another splashy touchdown, and this game is all Bears now. I mean, you know, it has been for a little while, but now it's like, okay, that's pretty much the nail in the coffin there. I don't know, I, hopefully we get some, uh, hopefully we get some good games here, <laughs> at least one of them. I mean, the first game was okay, but it, you know, it was, uh, it was a two-score game for the most part throughout the, uh, throughout most of the game. This one's even worse. But Freeman's trying to... At the very least, oh, and there's another pick. I'm gonna say Freeman's at the very least trying to turn in a you know a strong performance individually. Oh man, Howard's breaking tackles left, right, and sinker inside the forty. The Falcons calling timeouts, but it's uh, it's it's futile. Yeah, 
We get the blitz on, and it doesn't matter. Trubisky still throws it across country to White for a first down. Just a rough day for the Falcons' defense. Man, it is pitch and catch. Hand it off to Howard, and he's going to break tackles into the end zone. And you can turn the lights out on the Falcons. So at least this time they didn't cough up a major lead. Um, they were up seven at one point, but you know, it's, it's I wouldn't call that a really a blown lead. Because it was early in the game and it wasn't much. Ward makes the catch along the sideline, and this is going to help at least, uh, I don't know, make it look a little more respectable. But uh, there's not much else that can be that needs to be said. Uh, they're going to try an outside kick, and it doesn't work. Bears just need to avoid uh, injuries here in the last couple plays. That, that'll do it. Uh, Bears all over the Falcons. 326 yards for Trubisky. He was a monster, and Kendall Wright had some nice catches. Um, and White, too. White made some splashy plays. Uh, just uh, and, the, and the Bears also ran for 100 yards. So it was just all Bears in this game. Uh, all right, let's just move on right to the next one. We got the uh, Patriots and Titans. So... Go Titans! I already explained that whole situation. Titans looking more like the Oilers. Uh... Although, actually, this does predate. This is kind of like their, uh... you know, like their old blue. But they had like more of a navy blue, like a really dark navy blue the home jersey. They did wear the. The light blues, the sky bluish ones too, with the uh, with the navy shoulder pads. But they do look, you know, in this game, they look, they are looking very oiler like. And Brandon Cooks with the touchdown. First play. So, first drive has been. Uh, you know, just uh, has been a touchdown in all three games so far. Fucking Patriots. Come on, Titans, let's at least make this... At least make this a decent game. And, uh, well, I thought it was a blitz for a second. Mario was gonna run, he's gonna get sacked. Three and out.
I do not miss these days of Patriot domination. Not even a little bit. Like, I don't... There will not be... If, if, if they ever make the playoffs again... I know that yeah, it's, it's been a few years since they've been good. But if, if, if they never make the playoffs again... It'll be too soon. I could... I, I could not ever get to the point where I feel bad and... Say, you know, I, 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 I'm fine with, uh, you know, them going for another run. No. That tuck rule game forever scarred me. And if the Raiders would have won the Super Bowl the year after, they made it there, but they... Callahan, like an idiot, decided to change up the game plan they've been going with the whole time. And then the Buccaneers knew everything that they were doing, and, uh, you know, that was an easy win. And, uh, I could have been at peace with the whole tuck rule thing if I had just saw my team win a Super Bowl in my lifetime. And I'm pretty much... I mean, I've gotten to the point now... Because at that time, it was like... It was really brutal. It was like two franchises going in opposite directions shortly after the tuck rule. And I had to endure all the success of the Patriots, especially living here up here with surrounded by fucking Patriot fans. Um, yeah, that just made it worse. At this point, I've pretty much uh, gone to accept. And I, it's just nice to see. Uh, 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 a touchdown for the Titans here, but um, you know, I think I've kind of come to accept the fact that I probably it's, it's not going to happen with the Raiders. They just don't have, um, they have no stability at the organization. I like, I I I, I like Antonio Pierce and everything, but uh, it's just like now we got the Chiefs in the division. They got the... Possibly the Chargers being a mainstay team if they can... If... if, if, if they can surround Herbert with talent again. Uh, you know, I, I'm not holding my breath for any kind of resurgence and uh, you know, uh, to see them go on another run for a long time. So, it's kind of it's like I'm almost kind of whatever. I've kind of resigned to the fact. It's almost like, uh... Like, I'm a Game of Thrones fan. But I never read the Song of Ice and Fire novels. And I don't plan to unless he fucking finishes the whole thing. And I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't want to start something that doesn't have an end. And I'm not... Too... Optimistic about that happening so i'm just all right it is what it is it's kind of the same thing with the raiders in there uh chances for any kind of deep runs why does derrick henry only have one run in the selection demarco murray has three nothing against demarco murray but i mean it's fucking derrick henry I mean, I mean, you should. There's no arguing with the, uh, the touchdown that they got earlier on with with uh, with Murray. So it's gonna be third and one. They're in the shotgun, and they saw this one coming. They snuffed it right out, and it's not even close enough to think about going for it. They gotta punt it away. That's a shame, because uh, they had a chance to tie the game, and they had a chance to double dip. And take the lead in the start of the third, but it's an amazing punt right down to the to the one. So the Patriots just want to get the hell out of Dodge here. Go into the half with the lead. Don't give up a safety or anything crazy. No pressure. Oh, they had they brought they dropped their running backs back there to protect, and Gronk was wide open down the middle. It eventually came open. That's what happens when you give him enough time. And so, so much for the Patriots being in the Shadow Throne goalpost. Now they're in uh, Titan territory and looking to extend their lead and make it a two-score game. 
That was a dangerous throw. He was under a lot of pressure, and there were two Titans over there. They're probably fighting over it. They had a lot of pressure on that time. He threw it to Hogan. But he fumbled! And that's a costly fumble. Uh, if, that, if this were real life, Belichick would have benched him immediately. Yeah, you don't fumble like that inside the 10 uh, in a playoff game. That's going to be the half. 14 to 7. So it, it was all, you know, it was 14 nothing Patriots. Um, then the Titans, uh, you know, cut it to within 7. And in the second quarter, it was, uh, they, you know, everybody settled in and it was all defense. Mostly defense. I will say, though, that, you know, that fumble was a big, huge defensive play. Uh, they can't... Obviously, the Patriots are still moving the ball around like crazy. So, oh, and then they fumbled it right back. Maybe. Oh, they kept it. And Walker's gonna get a huge gain out of it. And he's gonna drag him for, like, another six, seven yards. They're inside the 45. See, this is the kind of shit... They're inside the 40. This is the kind of shit that you expect to happen with the, in the Patriots' favor. And I, I thought that I was, they were going to throw a pick right there, right? Just to jinx me, just to stick it to me and say, Hey, you here, shut the fuck up. It's still going to work out for them. Don't worry about it. Mariota moving around. He's throwing it against the... That was uh, dangerous down the middle of the field throw into a crowd. Marco Murray brings it into the red zone inside the 10. He is a touchdown, and the Titans are an extra point away from tying this game. So they got, um, they are right back in this. Obviously, it's, all, it's, it's basically a tie now. That fumble was big. See how the Pats respond. They hand it off to White. He gets a first down. Dragon tackler or would-be tackler with him. It's a pitch to White. He doesn't even make it back to the line of scrimmage. That's a good uh, job by the defense swarming him. Brady drops back. He's got... <laughs> July. I never. I don't know who the hell that is. Doesn't really matter. Maybe maybe they did bench Hogan for, because of the fumble. Oh, look at Gronk make the catch in the crowd. Knocks a guy down. You got guys missing. And now we're, they're inside the 10. So they are very close to getting their lead right back. And there they are in the end zone. You can't stop them for long. You can only contain them. I will say, though, so far, this has been the game of the day. Pressure is on the Titans. Uh, now to drive it down there. They go to Henry. That was a dangerous throw. There was, uh, there was coverage on the play. It was... You know, you're in your own territory. Mario's going to take it to within a yard of a first down. It's third and one with 31 seconds left. Mario to fakes it. He's going to run. He's going to throw it deep to Matthews, and he overthrows him. He had a first down. He could have just ran it. He saw the jugular and went for it and threw it too far. Nice punt. I gotta give it to Kern. He's been a great, uh, doing a great job of the punting today. But they're gonna need to get the ball back here. Um, if Patriots score on this drive, it's gonna be really tough. And they got a lot of pressure here, but Brady gets rid of it. It's a block. And everybody's chasing it around like as if it's a free ball. 
Everybody, you know, they, they do that in real life, though. You know, it's like... Just in case, go after her. So, third and ten. The Titans are one play away from forcing a three and out. Oh, but he's got Cooks down the sideline. I mean, he got two guys miss. And another guy misses that as a touchdown. Wow. You know, just when you think you have him where you want him. They do this shit. It's just like real life. Once again, I do not miss the, these days. Ugh. I would say, you know, it's not over yet, but, you know... If it were any other team, I would... I would feel okay about Titans' chances of maybe sneaking in, uh, you know, a late comeback. Pressure and double coverage. Whoosh. I know, Derrick Henry, he's your strength. He's the strength of your offense, but you don't have much time here. Mariota dumps it off to Decker, who's gonna make something out of... Well, I'll make something out of nothing, but he made more than what it looked like he was gonna get. And man, that was off the fingertips. Just a waste of time there. Yeah, what do? What does that do? A field goal, really? Why? You're down. This is a 63-yard field goal, 62-yard field goal, maybe, and you're down two touchdowns. Didn't even have the leg. Dumb. Whatever. I mean, this game is over anyway. That would have been fun to get a pick right there after giving up the fourth down. Too little, too late kind of deal. Wow, why are you so urgent to call timeouts when you uh, went for a goddamn field goal down 14 and in, with less than three minutes left? And Gronk is going to make him pay with another touchdown. And, you know, it's like... This one was close for a time, too, but it lost its magic as well, and we're getting out of the blowout. This was the better game out of the three, though. It was the one that had, where the fate of the game was still in the balance um, in the fourth quarter for a time. Uh, but, you know, it just all fell apart toward the end. One more game. One more... One more game. That's... We have a chance. We have we have a chance to get a nail-biting... Last-second, back-and-forth kind of a game. Just delaying the inevitable by... Play with pride, I get it, you know. I'd be doing the same thing, but it makes uh, it makes it less. It doesn't do anything to make it more interesting to me. Let's put it that way. Thirty-five, fourteen. I don't feel like looking at any stats or any of that shit. Um, what is the last game here? It is Cardinal Seahawks. I. Just gonna double check, make sure I got both of them on there. I do. All right, here it is—a good old NFC West showdown. Two teams. Neither one of these teams were in the NFC West in, uh, you know, as when the original Tecmo was going down, because you had the Seahawks in the AFC West and the Cardinals in the NFC East. It sounds like a geographical friggin' transpositional error or something, but you know, no, that was just because they were in St. Louis and they relocated. 
apparently how St. Louis relocated out west and or they relocated to the east and still played in the west. It's like, what are you going to do? You're already in the division. Carson Palmer, that's right. He had, so he had pretty good years with the Cardinals. Took him to the NFC Championship once. And he went on. If Palmer hang, hung on to the ball, he was going to get creamed. That's what I thought was going to happen. He's going to get sacked. Now he's going to get rid of it. And it's a touchdown. So JJ Nelson with the score. And once again. Touchdowns right off the bat. All four games. So I can't feel too bad as a defensive, uh, you know, for the, for the defense of my team in these games just because it's not just me. It's everybody, it seems like. Is Russ going to cook? Oh, he's going to get a first down on this first uh, offensive play, so we'll see. It's a good start. I've been seeing a lot of these RPO... I mean, there is no option in this game. It's, you know, you pick what you pick, but, um, you know, that style of play. Russ is dumping it off to Graham, and he's going to get a first. I don't know, maybe it'd be cool to see Seahawks and Raiders in the Super Bowl because you got former division rivals and you got the Marshawn Lynch uh, against his former team. But no, but we'll probably end up seeing his Patriots, the Seahawks, and then you're going to get a, uh, a, a instant replay or a revisit to... Uh, that unfortunate Super Bowl ending. And Russ is going to run it into the end zone. I love, love the fact... I have nothing against Russell Wilson, but I am so glad that that trade did not work out for the Broncos. It's just nice to see other teams botch up shit like that instead of just the uh, Raiders. to the lower half of the field. It's caught by Brownie to come back for it. But he got it. He fumbled it out of bounds, though. Lucky. That's why you, you know, run to the sideline in these games, so that way, in case you do fumble, you at least have a chance of it going the other way. Uh, you know, by other way, I mean out of bounds, not other way to the other team. Uh, I'm sure you knew that. This is going to get a first. This has been a, a very methodical game here. We're, we're on the third possession now. And it's the early second quarter. Oh, and there's a pick. Ooh. So there it is, the first big play of the game defensively. And it could cause the Seahawks to break serve here, though that pass was knocked away. Rowles. 
with the first. Rolls again. Picks up four. Very methodical drive they had the last time, as did the Cardinals on their first drive. So it was like the borders flew, uh, seemed like it flew, but it was really just that the drives were long. And nobody's making big splashy plays, but they, you know, Seahawks defense did make a splashy play with a interception in there in the uh, back in the end zone, you know, which could have been a touchdown. Those kind of plays make a big difference, and his Rowell's getting a uh, splashy run. And they're inside the 30. Dumps it off to Graham. Either they're inside the red zone, and uh, two defenders meet to bring him down on the 5. And with 2.05 left in the half, Seahawks are knocking on the door. They're looking to take advantage of the turnover, although that play right there was snuffed out. So, back him up to the 9. Oh, another blitz. Rawls loses a couple more yards, and now it's third it's third and goal from the 12, yeah. And does not finish that one off, and we're gonna get a field goal attempt here. So, good job by the Cardinals defense. In uh, stepping up in, in a very important time, you know, like they did give up the drive, but at least they uh, held them to three. I just want to, I just want to see a good game out of this again. I don't care who wins. I know I painted that little scenario back earlier in the game about the Seahawks making it to the Super Bowl to play the Raiders. I don't have any real desire to see them go to the Super Bowl. I don't have. Not one way or the other. As long as the Cowboys don't win from the NFC, I'm good. And the same thing with the Patriots on the other side. And that went nowhere either. And now it's third in a country mile. They're going to hand it off to Johnson. I mean, they, they think they're going to get the first down there, or they just concede the field position and try to punt it with uh, as much yards as they could and kill up as much time as they could before saying the hell with it and try their luck in the second half because with this punt, the Seahawks might get a playoff. And shit, the way that uh, the return of how long it was taken to finish off, they might not have even had a snap to begin with. There's only three seconds uh, left to spare. And Rawls is going to pick up about 13. That's going to be it for the half. And yeah, not, not nothing flashy. Very even numbers just about all the way across the board. Um, I don't know why Palmer doesn't have an interception on a stat sheet, but he did throw one. Um, I know that they take away interceptions. It's weird. I've seen it happen where if you throw a pick and then he fumbles it right back to your offense, then that pick is, is taken off the board. That didn't happen in this one, though. It was a straight-up interception. So, I don't know. It has some weird glitchiness, like in the league leaders, when you go into uh, receptions. Receptions do not sort correctly by the number of receptions. I don't know. Doesn't matter that much in the grand scheme of things. We know what happened. Oh, nice catch by Rawls. He was... There were two defenders just waiting for the ball to come straight to them. And he just jumped out in front of it. Kind of like saved the interception. First down, they're approaching the 40. They're not in field goal range yet, but if they do advance, then the Cardinals are going to definitely want... And yeah, that's where we're at now. Inside the 20. So now the Cardinals need to hold them to three here. I mean, turnover would be nice, but realistically, you know, in all practicality, they need uh, to uh, hold them to three to stay within a score, and that right there did not help. Big first down, now it's first and goal from the seven. They give it to Rawls, and he takes it down to the one, so they are 
knocking on the door. We'll see if they uh, do the whole blitz thing here. A lot of times, I see it happen where, um, and particularly it seems like it's, more than anything, it's when you're on offense. They always call a run up the middle on defense. At least in that situation. But Cardinals are now up 17-7. I mean, Seahawks are up 17-7. Cardinals, please make a game out of this. I We, we just went through f three games that weren't so hot. Don't just stand there. Oh, man, he fucking fumbled it away. And it's a touchdown for the defense. So much for that. So much for that. Ugh. You know, again, I didn't have any kind of vested interest in who won this game, but I did want to see a good game, and now, like, that's slipping away. Seven minutes left in the game. And 17 points down are the Cardinals. They need to score fast, like, immediately, before this quarter ends. And... Bobby Wagner was not falling for the banana behind the tail, banana behind, banana in the tailpipe bullshit trick. But the Cardinals, they he did uh, not buy that fake. But oh, Johnson faked out everybody. They I guess they maybe they expected the play fake there. I don't know. But again, they need to score quick, and it seems like every pass they have is a play action. But they get Brown deep, and now they're inside the thirty. Like I said, they, you know, the, the thing to do would be to score before the third quarter ends. That's kind of like the, the goal. And he's going to Brown. He stopped. Why did he stop? The ball was overthrown because he, he held off on his route. I mean, I think that was his... I don't know. I don't see that on the playbook where they... At least it's not drawn up that way. Nothing doing. And they're kicking a fucking... Well, yeah, they go get to within two scores. This makes sense. Not ideal at all. But they do punch it in, and it's 24 to 10. And, yeah, I would have kicked it... Even if it was the... Uh, even if they were in the fourth quarter, which is when they uh, the computer tends to do the onside kicks. And they get a fumble! See, that's why you do it right there. You get a chance to get the ball back. And now they're inside the 30, so they scored before the third quarter ended, which was what I said was the goal there. And they got the ball right back with five minutes left in the game, the full quarter, and uh, inside the 30. And Gresham with the catch, and that was the... Carson Palmer was in deep shit. He was getting harassed, but he managed to get the ball up before he got tackled and ended up leading to a big first down, and now Johnson runs it to the two. And, oh, Johnson loses a couple. Just keep running. He's got some guys, oh, but he gets sacked. Gotta go for it now. Oh man, you were on the two yard line and you just lost yardage in every play. Going for the end zone, and it's a touchdown. Wow, so with everything on the line, I mean, the game was uh, on the line. And it's the Fitzgerald. Like, why have you been ignoring him? No wonder why you're losing. One of the best receivers of all time is, uh, I know that they're probably covering the shit out of him a lot, but it's like, find a way to get him the ball. He's the best player on the field. Graham makes the catch, and he's gonna take it inside the 50, and that's gonna be a big problem for the Cardinals right there. They... They gotta hold him to a missed field goal here. Or maybe get another turnover. Rawls is really dragging the you know defenders behind with him. And 
Wilson is cooking. He brings it down to the four. They need a turnover because, uh, you know, they line up, line up for a field goal. It's going in. They get a tackle, second and four. And they get a touchdown. And that is the nail in the camel right there. Tyler Lockett with the touchdown. Puts the Seahawks up 14. So, you know, this was the best game of the day, though. It was, um... Even though it ended up leading to what it did, another... Well, they could, maybe the Cardinals score and make it look like a one-score game. Even the two-score game isn't, uh... If it ended like this at this score, um, you know, I'd say that it was kind. It wasn't really. Well, I guess you know. Now that I think about it, actually, it, it, it was kind of like indicative of how the game was. For a lot of the game, the Cardinals were down. Uh, well, phew, right to the defender. If he could catch, he'd be playing receiver. Um, it got you know the Cardinals clawed their way back into it late, but you didn't really have that feeling like they were right in the game until the end. And, you know, of course, early on. Yeah, this, is, this doesn't matter. They, really, they should just kick a field goal here and then try to get the, it back, but there's not enough time. There's not even going to be enough time to even kick an onside kick at this point. So that's the game. They get a touchdown, though. Fitzgerald gets a second touchdown of the game. And that'll be the final. So, you know, it was... We didn't have any classics in this wild card round, which, you know, it's the wild card round. It's supposed to be wild. It wasn't. Yeah, nobody with any uh, jaw-dropping uh, stats. Well, you know, the yeah, the, it was pretty much... Seahawks ran for 170 yards. They spread it out a bit. You know, Russell Wilson had a lot of yards running. Um, so they were more... They, they weren't so one-dimensional. Uh, Cardinals, you know, it was too little too late. 31-24 is the final in there. Uh, the, 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 by they, I mean the Seahawks. We'll be moving on. So... We're going to have Jaguars and Raiders. Now the you know the top four seeds come out, the top two in each conference. The big boys come out to play. And the other side, you got Patriots and Broncos. They have some uh, quite the playoff history to do those two teams. Um, so then you got Panthers and Bears on one side, and then you got Seahawks, Cowboys on the other. So, uh, yeah, go. Oh, man. I hate to say go Broncos. I read, we can't both teams just lose. Well, if Raiders can beat the Jaguars, it'll be uh, it'll be an interesting matchup either way on the other side, that's for sure. And then, you know, just somebody beat the Cowboys, please. Seahawks, preferably, so we can, you know, get it out of the way. Anyway, um, that's it for this one. Uh, you know, I'll be back next week to simulate the divisional round and do the same shit here. Um, yeah, that pretty much covers it. Thank you for watching if you did, and, uh, I'll see you next time.